Kane and Abel. Dear friends, do you remember where we stopped our last story? I will tell. It was till Adam and Eve were sent out of the Garden of Eden. What happened next? They worked the ground outside the garden. From morning till evening they worked very hard and God said that they would die as a result of their sin. And when both of them were living and working together, they had a son. That son is Cain. After a little while, another son was born. He was Abel. Both the boys grew up. Cain was a farmer while Abel was a shepherd. In the course of time, both of them brought an offering to God. Cain brought to the Lord an offering of the fruit of the ground and Abel brought a firstborn from his flock. And the Lord had regard for Abel and his offering, but for Cain and his offering he had no regard. So Cain was furious and his face fell. The anger grew inside him into hatred against his brother. And when they were in the field, Cain rose up against Abel and killed him. Knowing that, God asked Cain, Where is your brother Abel? I don't know. Am I my brother's keeper? He replied. God, the voice of your brother's blood cries out to me from the ground. Frightened at hearing that, Cain ran from that place and went to live in Nod, east of Eden. Poor Adam and Eve. Of their two sons, one is dead and the other ran away. Who else is there for them? Grief-stricken, they cried a lot. But after some time, they had another son. They named him Seth. After that, they had many sons and daughters. But there's something unusual there. Are you thinking what it is? Today, a human's lifespan is less than 100 years. Have you seen anyone above 100 years? Even if you have, it is very rare, right? But during the time of Adam and his children, they lived for more than 900 years. When Adam died as an old man, he was 930 years. Life continued, generation after generation. Now we have reached the seventh generation. In the seventh generation, Adam's descendant, Enoch, was born. He was a righteous person in that generation. He walked with God. He walked and walked and walked and entered God's house without seeing death. In the beginning, didn't God hold Adam's hand and walk into the garden? The same way God held Enoch's hand and walked into heaven. Life continued on earth, but the fallen man did more of Satan's deeds. God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth and that every intention of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. And the Lord was sorry that he made man on the earth and it grieved his heart. God decided to completely destroy the earth. With great grief in his heart about the decision he made, he looked at the earth. Look, there is still one man with his wife and three sons and their wives leading a life that is pleasing to God. Do you know who they are? That is in the next story. God bless you.